I don't know, Alex, are there other social media platforms that food influencers are pretty prevalent on? There's a lot more on TikTok now, but the problem with TikTok is it doesn't give you the call to action as strongly. Okay. Um, so you're seeing food influencers that have taken years to grow to 20 or 30K on Instagram. Suddenly with five, I have a friend who just hit 500K on TikTok and he's been there a few months. Wow. Um, so how do you, how do you leverage that to market is like sort of a, a new thing. <laughs> um, but you're seeing a lot of food influencers hop over to TikTok for sure. Okay. Right on. Uh, would yeah. you say Instagram is more reliable or proven of a platform in terms of, uh, you know, generating traffic? 100%. Yeah. It, it's more proven in terms of measuring, mm -hmm. in terms of like metrics on, on what's happening. Mm -hmm. It's already sort of a gray area, right? Because you don't, you can't prove that somebody looked at your post, didn't do anything with it, but then bought something. That's a, that's impossible to prove. Yeah. So the fact that Instagram happens to have more metrics and we understand more about what those metrics mean in terms of if somebody's maybe going to make a purchase um, is more useful than like, oh, 40,000 people liked a TikTok video, right? What does that mean? Like, is that a bunch of Gen Zers who aren't making purchases anyway? Like, like how do you market things in TikTok is different. You're not geotagging. You're not, a lot of brands might not even have a TikTok account to tag. What's the call to action, right? How do you show that somebody liked the video that, that they thought was funny and then went and bought whatever brand of Oreos, right? Like the, tying the connections of the actual result of TikTok is harder. So we don't know. Um, and that's what makes Instagram, Instagram a little bit more reliable. Okay, interesting. Interesting. And then you know, these, these two stats I got here uh, talking about how the age range of Instagram users you know, it's rising in terms of 25 to 34 year olds, people who are considered millennial. Uh, and it's also been described as a platform that is very well geared towards reaching older Gen Zers as well. Would you say you've noticed that trend with your audience as well? Yeah. Yeah, I think more Gen Zers are sort of like establishing a stronger online presence. Mm -hmm. um, as they're getting a little bit like old enough to actually care about things a little bit more and like, you know, they're not just playing games on their phone. Like they're now they're, they're maybe having more of a social life and they're going more places or doing more things. And, and that suddenly makes them a super valuable market um, for a food influencer or for a restaurant or something like that, because maybe they have a date night coming up at their prom date and they want to, you know, go to a nicer restaurant like that. You start seeing as that generation ages, um, you start seeing the value. They start seeing the value of the platforms, um, and we start seeing the value of that of that segment. 